तो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वी कैन मॉनिटर हाउ इज द शुगर लेवल इन अवर बॉडी बाय टू वेज वन इज बाय चेकिंग योर इंस्टेंटेनियस रिजल्ट लाइक योर फास्टिंग ब्लड शुगर एंड द पोस्टल ब्लड शुगर विच टेल्स यू द स्टोरी ऑफ दैट डे but then hba1c is the average of 3 months so it is a very good story it tells you the story of last 3 months now why this is important so basically it is hba1c if i have to tell uh, you or anybody it is a uh, test which tells us what is the average sugar over the last 3 months and it is so important because suppose somebody has been not taking care of their diet exercise and their sugars have been really uncontrolled what they can do before a test they can do a little bit of cheating they can go fasting and then they can take their medication one or two days prior their fasting and post lunch will come out to be okay but nobody can cheat in hba1c so whenever a doctor ask for uh, the sugar checking it is always fasting blood sugar which tells you what is your fasting status what happens with your metabolism after the lunch which is post lunch blood sugar and hba1c tells us the story of 3 months so it is very important we should try to keep the hba1c between somewhere between 6 to 7 which is called as an excellent control and if the average sugar is going more than 7 that means you need some more modification either in terms of uh, lifestyle modification or drug modification uh, your diet modification so all these things will give a good to so in addition to fasting and post lunch we should always check our hba1c to see what is the overall control so i think again this is a myth between the uh, with the general population that diabetes is only about sugar control if we keep just our sugar under control everything will be okay uh, and if we if a little bit of sugar is high it doesn't matter because i am not getting a symptom but to tell you diabetes or uh, as we say high blood sugar is a silent killer most of the people will not get any kind of symptoms when the sugars are high but they can continue to develop complications silently so heart can get affected heart can patient can develop blockages in the heart which can lead to heart attack heart can get dilated increase in the size when i say dilated it becomes increase in the side size which can lead to heart failure similarly the eyes can get affected the kidneys are the one of the most important organs which get affected with the uh, diabetes and then they can finally lead to chronic kidney disease which can finally lead to the need of dialysis or kidney transplant so which are quite disastrous similarly diabetes can impact uh, the brain also the arteries which supply the brain and it can increase the chances of uh, brain stroke in fact it can affect every single vessel in the body and uh, like for example people if there are blockages in the legs it can lead to gangrenes and which can lead to amputation where you have to cut the legs or a particular part of the body which has been which has become gangrenous so diabetes impact lot of these a lot of the organs in the body and it is important to keep the sugar under tight control at the same time uh, only sugar control now we are going from a glucocentric approach to gluco cardio metabolic centric approach where we want to use those diabetic uh, medications which not only reduces the sugar but they can have impact on the direct impact on reducing the heart disease on reducing the kidney disease on reducing the chances of stroke so there are lot of such kind of medications which not only target the sugar control which is important but also the other uh, factors so therefore it's a myth that we just have to control the sugar it is the overall thing which we have to take care take care of the associated factors like the cholesterol blood pressure because these risk factor in combinations are multiplicative like for example 4 plus 4 is additive but 4 into 4 is uh, uh, you know 16 which is quite high and 4 into 4 into 4 is again 64 so uh, the multiplicative effect increases the uh, danger and the risk of complications of the diabetes so the associated factors also have to be uh, controlled along with sugar control by using the appropriate medication one of the medication is like sgnt2 inhibitors and there are similar more medications which are uh, there which are have not only glucose lowering effect but also other beneficial effects on the directly on the heart and the other organs in the body so this is about the uh, sugar control issue